Hey guys, today we're going to be taking a look at and installing the Roush cold air intake for the 2018 GT Mustang. This intake is a no tune required intake. It has a larger air box on it and it's an enclosed air box as well. It maintains the cold air feed from the grill of the car and it has a dry reusable air filter in it. Now because this is a larger enclosed air box, you will need to either eliminate your engine cover or Roush gives you a template just so you can cut it and still fit with this larger air box. The intake costs about $400 and it's very easy to install. This is a no tune required intake like I said, but we wanted to show you guys the full power potential behind the intake. So we did pair the intake with a tune and we ran it on the dyno. And here are those numbers now. So our stock dyno run with our manual 2018 GT gave us numbers of 442 horsepower and 397 foot pounds of torque. After we installed the Roush cold air intake and paired it with the tune, we saw numbers of 474 horsepower and 416 foot pounds of torque. That makes for a peak gain of 32 horsepower and 19 foot-pounds of torque. The curve gains were even more impressive though. We saw curve gains of 36 horsepower at 6,800 RPM and 30 foot-pounds of torque both at 2,600 RPM and 6,500 RPM. Alright guys, to start the install we actually need to remove our strut tire brace just so we can remove our engine cover. In order to remove the strut tire brace, we will need to take this little plastic holder right here that's on the battery cable, pry up on that. Then we'll be able to get to the two 15 millimeter bolts that are on either side. All right, so you can do this without removing your battery cover or disconnecting your battery, but it may make it a little bit easier. Like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and just lift this off without doing any of that. Next, we're going to remove the engine cover. In order to do that, you'll need a little flat head screwdriver just so you can pry up on these covers here. We only have one, as you guys can see. You'll have two. You'll have one here, one over there, and then you'll need a 10 millimeter socket to remove the nuts that are holding the engine cover in place. I will say that I'll remove the nut, but leave it inside the cover, and then I'll pop the cover off with the nut inside. All right, and at this point, we'll be able to lift the engine cover off. So at this point, we're gonna loosen the clamp at the throttle body that is a seven millimeter. Now we're gonna do all of the connections on our intake tube here. So the way this works is you're actually gonna push down on this flat piece right here. The clip will release and you will be able to pull the line off. All right, now we're gonna move around to the back side right here. This connection's a little bit different. If you reach around, you'll be able to feel that there's a little tab on this. Push that tab in, and then the tube will release. As far as your sound tube goes, you'll need a pair of pliers for that. Grab a pair of pliers, we'll squeeze that clamp. Now we're gonna disconnect the mass airflow sensor. There is a little red tab underneath, that's a locking tab. You'll need to grab that little tab, 
pull it out and now you'll be able to disconnect the sensor. Once you disconnect the mass airflow sensor, you'll have to remove it from the air box right here. Just make sure you pull out the plastic clip before you remove the air box. The last thing we're gonna do is remove the 10 millimeter bolt that's holding the air box in place. I like to remove the air box as one big piece. You don't necessarily have to break it down in order to remove it. So I'm gonna pull out this 10 millimeter bolt and then I will lift out the entire intake. So on the table we have the stock intake and the Roush aftermarket cold air intake. One of the main differences between the stock intake and your Roush intake is actually gonna be your air box. You guys can see the air box is much larger. It's also enclosed, so it has a lid on it and it maintains the direct cold air feed from the grill of the car. It's a really nice feature. So basically what this is supposed to do is it's supposed to completely surround your air filter with cool air from outside of the engine bay at all times. You have a lid here that's gonna keep the air box sealed and the lid does have a little plexiglass viewfinder just so you can check on your air filter and make sure it's not too dirty. Speaking of the air filter, the air filter is a dry reusable air filter with two layers of wire mesh. Moving on from the air filter, you have your intake tube. This is the Roush intake tube here. It's great because it maintains the stock style connections on both sides. It does require you to eliminate your sound tube but Roush gives you a plug so you can plug the firewall. The other really nice thing about this is that Roush includes stock style couplers and clamps. So you guys can see your couplers are already on here. You don't have to worry about fitting or fiddling with aftermarket couplers or clamps. Everything just stays in place. You literally just slide this in place and tighten down your clamps. With all that being said, let's move on and get this thing in the car. All right, so there are a couple things that we'll have to transfer over from the stock airbox to the Roush airbox. So there are three things. We'll need to transfer over this rubber grommet right here, this grommet with the metal insert in it, as well as a small grommet on the bottom. So we're gonna go ahead, grab this off of our stock air box. We're gonna transfer that over to the Roush air box right here. Then we have to grab this as well. So there's a little metal insert in here. Pushing up on the metal insert, pulling that out, and then I will work the grommet out. I'm going to transfer that over to this location right here on the Roush air box. So, I'm going to work my grommet into place. And then insert the metal. Lastly, on the bottom of the stock air box, there's a little rubber grommet right here. We'll pull that out. Stick it on the bottom of the Roush air box right here. Now we're going to take the Roush air feed and attach it to the box. So we're just going to line everything up. One of the other things we have to do is transfer over the mass airflow sensor from our stock intake over to the Roush intake. So this is a T20, so we're gonna go ahead and unbolt that. We're gonna save our stock hardware too. the mass airflow sensor. All right, next we're gonna grab our Roush piece. Our mass airflow sensor housing is right here. Now keep in mind that this is a no tune required intake, so it actually has an insert in the housing right here. So if your mass airflow sensor doesn't slide right in, just make sure you have your housing lined up because there are two pieces right here. So you'll need to make sure your two pieces are lined up and that the inside piece is seated all the way so you can fit the mass airflow sensor in. And the other thing is the mass airflow sensor only installs one way. If you have this installed the incorrect way, your bolt holes won't line up. So just get it installed the correct way. Use your stock hardware to get this bolted down.
At this point, we're ready to head back over to the car and get the air box installed. All right, so we're gonna slide the air box into place. I'm going to make sure that this portion is lined up. All right, so the Roush airbox will click into place and then we're going to take our stock 10 millimeter bolt and use that to bolt this down. Next, we're gonna install the air filter onto the mass airflow housing. So one thing to be aware of is Roush gives you an arrow at the bottom of their filter here. So you guys can see this arrow pointing down. You wanna make sure that when you install this, your mass airflow sensor is on the correct side. So your mass airflow sensor needs to be on this side right here. And we're going to install the filter with the arrow pointing down at a 90 degree angle in relation to the sensor. So I'm gonna do it like this. I'm checking to make sure that the arrow on the front of the Roush filter is at a 90 degree angle to the sensor right here, which it is. Okay, at this point I am going to slide this through and into the filter housing. So Roush gives you two 10 millimeter bolts to bolt your air filter into the housing and we're gonna go ahead, grab those bolts and then tighten this down. All right, these are the two bolt holes that Roush gives you to hold the filter into the housing. So we're gonna go ahead, grab our 10 millimeter bolts. Get them started. I am just gonna start these for right now. I'm not gonna tighten them down. I'm gonna wait until I get the rest of the cold air intake in place, just so I have some movement here. Once again, I am making sure that my mass airflow sensor is on the correct side here. At this point, I'm gonna grab the rest of the Roush intake, slide it over the throttle body, and then onto the filter. You guys might have to loosen your clamps in order to get this installed. All right, then once everything's fully seated and flush, just rotate your clamps around until they're in a good spot so you can tighten. We're gonna go ahead, switch over to a 10 millimeter and tighten these bolts here. So now we're gonna make the connections on the intake tube. So we'll go ahead and just clip these into place. Same thing with this one, we'll just slide it into place and it'll click into place. Now we're gonna plug in our mass airflow sensor. One thing I will say about this is that it is clipped into the body at multiple points along here. So if you need extra room or more harness, just unclip it. So we are going to plug our mass airflow sensor back in and make sure we hit the red tab. Now we're gonna install the cover to the air box. Roush gives you the hardware for this and these are T25s. So go ahead, lay the air box cover in place. These are self-tapping screws, so just be aware of that.
And because these are self-tapping screws and the holes aren't perfectly lined up, that's why you see me skipping around here. I want to make sure that I don't go from one side to the other and have this side not lined up. So with the covered airbox on the 2018 Mustang and the new engine cover on the 2018 Mustang, at this point you have two options. One, you can either use the provided template that Roush gives you and cut the corner off your engine cover, or you can do like we're going to do and opt not to put the engine cover back on because it's not going to fit with this airbox. So we're going to go ahead, grab our strut tire brace and get that in place. It definitely does make it easier to remove this battery cable, but you guys don't necessarily have to, like I said. So we're gonna go ahead, grab our 15 millimeter nuts, and tighten these back down. Alright guys, that's going to wrap up this review and install. Keep in mind that you can always check the Roush cold air intake out more online right here at AmericaMuscle.com.